Bob from VVSD Tech, finalizing our series on creating K through 5 class folders on your main school page. So, so far what we've done is in the students folder, created class folders by grade level, and then within those folders created links to the class pages, and those links are pointing back to the class pages that exist in the classes folder that exists on the main school page found here. Okay. All right, so then the last thing to do is just to organize this folder a bit. So this will give you a sneak peek to the navigation editor as well. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is click on uh, navigation. I can edit navigation right from the navigation editor here, or I can go to tools, edit navigation, or the long way, I can click on edit this page. And select navigation. Either one of those will take me to the navigation editor page. All right, so the pages on the left hand side are all of the folders that exist in the list view of my school page. The main navigation is my main uh, menu, and the side navigation we haven't utilized quite yet. All right, so all my folders are located in the students folder. So I'm gonna scroll down to students. At some point, I'm sure Edline will make it so you can collapse these main folders so that you don't have to scroll up and down as much, but until then, scroll up and down away. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this all classes link. Okay, this is just a link to the classes folder. So by getting rid of this link, I am not deleting anything in the main classes folder and I can always add it back if I want to. Okay, so I'm gonna first delete it by clicking on the red X and then selecting remove item. Okay. Next, I'm gonna organize these folders by just simply clicking and dragging where I'd like for them to appear. All right, lastly, what I'm gonna do is make each of these a parent folder of the classes that are contained within. Okay, to make each of these parent folders, all I have to do is click on the pencil icon and then check the box that says dynamically add new content as sub items. Once I select done, now I see that all of the content that belongs to that folder becomes a submenu off the parent folder. And anytime I add in new content to that folder, it'll dynamically be added to this menu as well. The reverse is not true. If I delete something from this folder, I still have to go in and manually delete the menu item. But it will give me a little icon letting me know that there's a broken link. Okay. So I did kindergarten already, first grade, I'll do the same thing. Okay, now that I have my submenus, all I have to do is click on save. It'll bring me back to the main page. And now I should see in my students folder that the all classes link is gone. It's organized instead by the folders that I created. And I can see that those first two our flyouts because of the little carrot that exists right here. And once I do that for grades two, three, four, and five, you'll see the same thing. All right, so now if I were to sign out, if I were a parent or a student visiting the page, I wouldn't need to log in. All I need to do is just hover over students, go to the appropriate grade level, and choose that teacher's page. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at vvsdtech at vvsd.org. Thanks for watching.